Hey there, everybody. Good morning. Another live show today. Imagine that. And today we're talking about using bad words. Stay tuned. This is 7 Minutes in the Morning, where five days a week you get tips and hacks dedicated to helping business owners and leaders just like you find and break through the one thing that is preventing your success. And now, here's the host of 7 Minutes in the Morning and your results coach, Tom Rigsby. Hey there, everybody. Good morning and welcome. My name is Tom Rigsby. This is 7 Minutes in the Morning show where we talk about all the things you need to know to start, grow, and enjoy the benefits of business ownership. And we sprinkle some other interesting stuff in there along the way. So it's always worthwhile to join us just to figure out what we're talking about today. We're going to talk about using bad words, or at least one word in particular that I want to talk about. Before I get to that, though, uh, just a quick reminder, when you join, whether you're watching live or on the replay, do as Joe has done. Leave a comment, say hello, hi, how you doing, good morning. Joe, you left out your good morning America, which is your usual. <sighs> Off your game today. Hey, all right, so uh, do that. I always enjoy that. See um, who's watching and where you're watching from. Uh, see, there's Keith. Good morning to you as well, Keith. All right, so today, bad words. We're talking about bad words. And this is one, um, you know, well, I'm gonna, I, look, I'll throw you a bonus. Anybody want a bonus? Just, you know, raise your hand, thumbs up, like, yes, put in the comments. I'm going to throw a, a, a bonus in here, I think. Most of... I don't know, the last few months, I've been talking about building the life that you crave, right? Joe wants a bonus. Keith, that's a great little uh, avatar you got there. All right, anyway, um, building the life you crave. And the, the, the bad word I wanted to talk about today was desire. So the the reason that these are bad words, we we... As a society, I guess, we know you're not supposed to crave things. Cravings are bad. Desires are bad. We want, you know, everybody wants to be, I don't know, equal. Following your passion, follow, following your passion's kind of gotten okay, but, you know, chasing your dreams and desires, that's, that's, that's I don't, and I don't understand I don't understand. It's kind of frowned upon. So uh, the reason I wanted to hit desire specifically was because of today's quote. The starting point of all achievement is desire. That comes from Napoleon Hill. Uh, straight out of thinking, grow rich. The point is, if you don't want something, you're not going to get something. It's kind of the, the inverse of our old standby. If you keep doing what you've always done, you're going to keep getting what you've always gotten. And if you don't, and this is why, this is why I relentlessly sometimes, uh, push you guys to think about what you want. What's the outcome? What's the result? What's the end state that you're pursuing? If you don't understand, that, that outcome that you're trying to create, how can you ever imagine that you're going to create it? And look, I mean, this applies across all of life. This is not limited to your business. This is, you want to run a marathon, you want to lose a few pounds, you want to paint the house. You, you, you have to create that outcome. Now, the difference between outcome and desire, and this is something I beat people up about all the time. We are terrible about conflating the meaning of words. So knowing the outcome that you want is not the same as having a desire for that outcome. The desire, <clears throat> a desire is this deep-seated burning need to have that outcome. Now, how do we do that and why is that important? Well, on any long-term goal, be it a business, be it a health goal, be it a 
income goal, whatever, any long-term goal, there will be days when you don't feel like pursuing that goal. And those are the days where the desire needs to replace the want to. Right? Desire is what fuels the want to. So this is why I've shown you guys this book many times. Um, it's not always this particular book, but it's a book like this. The last page of the book always has the same thing in it, and the first page of the book always has the same thing in it. And the first page is 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 my vision, right? These are my desire statements. There's uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One of them is a BHAG, so six desire statements and a big, hairy, audacious goal. These are the thing, and I read these. Uh, not every day, but, you know, regularly, so that when the want to begins to wane, the desire begins to replace it. Now, I've had a conversation over the last couple of days and I'm working with some new clients, and we begin, and even one existing client, we're about uh, three months into a 12-month engagement, and the last time we talked was a lot about What's that future state you want to create? Tell me about it. You know, what does it look like, feel like, smell like, taste like? <coughs> what are all of those experiential elements of that outcome? And we do that. I do that. I go through that with them to remind them to help rekindle that desire in their mind for that end state that they wanted to create. So the desire is what keeps you going when the want to leaves the building. That's the whole point. And there, and to the point of bad words, there's nothing wrong with desire. I mean, we use it. Okay. It's fine to use it when we're talking about food, going out to eat, buying a new car, buying a house in the right zip code. The desire then is fine. But when it's, I don't know. I don't know. Get frustrated with people sometimes. Let's look at a couple of these comments. Desired state is the core in goals and achievement. Agreed. 100% with that, Joe. Stretch goals are the amalgamation of being the best you for not only you, but for the individuals that you serve. I like that. I I, I like that. Um Stretch goals get you outside of yourself. I like that. I might have to hold on to that one, Joe. That's a pretty good one. I like that one. When you desire to, when your desire, when your desire to change is greater than that of remaining the same, you're already, you are ready to plan and take responsibility for the results and actions. I agree with that. Let me pop that. Actually, I'm going to put this one up. I'll add that one there because that was a really good one. When your des- but this is the next comment from Joe. When your desire to change is greater than that of remaining the same. So two things motivate all human actions, all human choices, right? The alleviation of pain or the pursuit of pleasure. And of those two, the alleviation of pain is the greater motivator, right? At some point, you have to decide that my present pain is so great that I don't want to stand it anymore. And until you decide that, I can't really help you. It's you have to make that decision and begin to pursue that outcome. There's nothing really that I can do to change your outcome until you decide that the present pain is is so much that you need to move on. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, I'll have to put I'll have to find a picture of me on a soapbox or something, Keith. Good soapbox episode. All right. So that's it. Thank you guys so much for being here this morning. Today's Thursday, right? Yep. Thursday already. Man, this week has flown by. That means tomorrow's Friday, free coaching Friday. If you have a question, a topic, or something otherwise, something you would like for me to take up and talk about, be sure and send me a message here on the page or send me an email, tom at tomrigsby.com. Uh, And if not, we'll find something good to talk about. If you got value from today's session, and only if, I would appreciate if you'd like it, love it, thumbs up it, whatever uh, is appropriate in the venue where you're watching, and then share this video with the rest of your network. That's how we continue to spread the message. All right, that's it. You guys have a fantastic Thursday. 
I'll talk to you again tomorrow.